everyone. Welcome to Jolly Molly TV. Today we're going to do another fun block in Kimberbell's Quilting Through the Seasons Ladder Quilt Project. Today's block is this cute little bird block right here. Isn't that cute? All right, so let's go ahead and head over to our embroidery machines and let's get started. I also want to give a huge shout out again. Thank you so much to my girlfriend's quilt shop for sponsoring me and sending me the CD, the embellishments and the fabric kit in order so that I can show you how to make this project. If you still need some of these supplies for this project, please visit my girlfriend's quilt shop using the link down below and help me give them a big thanks for supporting me and enabling me to make this video series for you. Huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My girlfriend's quilt shop. Okay, we're at the machine. I put a new bobbin down below with white thread in it. I have my hoop, which is a five by seven on this one. The bird is actually technically a four and a half by four and a half. So it's just a little bit too big to fit in a four by four hoop. So I'm going to use my five by seven hoop to stitch this one out a little bit. There we go. Couldn't get the thread. So five by seven hoop. And then I put a piece of the poly no show mesh stabilizer on the inside of the hoop. And now let's go to the screen so we can load the design. All right. So I have a brother drain machine. If you have something similar, you can follow along. I'm going to go to embroidery. I'm going to go to my flash drive. And I have all my quilting through the seasons designs in a quilting through the seasons folder. And I'm going to go to a quilting subfolder. All right. So the bird design, we're going to use plant. So I go to my plant subfolder and I'm looking for a four by four inch design. And here it is right here with some leaves on it. That's cool. So it's KDQ 290. All these designs are the same number. And then I'm looking for a four by four. There it goes. Click set brings it in centered. So I don't have to do anything to it. And now I'm going to add, if you have the ability on your machine to add, we're going to add the main embroidered design on top of this and stitch both out. If you can't add, no problem. You're going to stitch this out, clear out your memory on your machine, load the bird embroidered design, and then stitch that out. Okay. So on this case, I'm going to add mine because I can, and I can do it at the same time. So now I'm going to go to the main quilt. And I'm looking for the bird, which is right up here cute little bird. Bring that in, click set. It is to be centered. So the machine does that automatically for you. All you got to do is click embroidery and we're good. Okay. So let's go back to the hoop cam. I also want to give another thank you to another sponsor in this video, Kimberbell for providing me with the quilting designs to be able to to make this project absolutely amazing using their block by block quilting designs. Thank you so much, Kimberbell. And if you're interested in getting these quilting designs, please use the link in the description below and it'll take you right to it. And you can choose the bundle of the quilting designs, or you can also just get individual designs. If you like it all florals or all sayings, which I believe they call time, you can choose which designs you want to put in your project. So please check out the link down below for Kimberbell.com. There we go. And the next thing I need you to grab is your plastic pouch system. This is number 17 and or bird on it. Whether you've got alphabetical or numerical, it's 17 bird. Okay, we're going to pull out that fabric. Cool, it's black hatched. And then we're going to pull out the two little pieces of applique fabric that we have in this pouch and we're going to set those aside those are for the bird okay all right now we're going to take a look at this fabric and because it's a dark gray color i like this one 
There we go. I'm choosing a dark gray thread, which I'm going to put in the top of the machine, and I'm going to use this for the placement line for the batting, the tack down line for the batting, the placement line for the fabric, and the tack down for the fabric. Okay, so pick a color thread that matches your fabric and put that in the top of your machine. And we're going to start stitching. There we go. Okay, so this is a one minute stitch out. Okay, so now I'm pulling out my batting collection and I'm looking for a piece that is five by five inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull that out. See how easy it is when you have all the things pre-cut and labeled and all you gotta do is grab them when you wanna stitch. That's the best part of it all. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this batting down. There we go. And I wanna make sure that I cover all sides just like that. And on this side, yep. All right, so let's hold it down. You can tape it if you like, but I tend to just hold it with my stylus, but keep your fingers away from the moving needle, all right? Foot down, same color thread up on top, the dark gray, and let's tack down the batting. Okay, so now I want you to take the hoop off the machine and go over to the table and I want you to trim away all of this excess batting from all four sides, okay? Meet you right back here. Okay, we are back at the machine and we're just gonna stitch out the next stitch, which is a placement line for the fabric. Here we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna lay the fabric down and we're gonna center it by using your finger to feel the batting that's down below, okay? You can get it really close, look at that, I'm good. So now, same color thread in the top of the machine and let's tack down the fabric. Here we go. Okay, so now we're ready to stitch out the quilting. And I've chosen that on this design, I want the quilting to blend in with the fabric and let the bird and the leaves be the cute design that sits on top and does all the quote speaking on the block. I don't want the quilting to be too loud to overshadow that. So I'm gonna use the same color thread I have up on top, which is this dark gray. I'm gonna stitch out the quilting it's only a two minute stitch out, so choose the color thread that you'd like for your quilting, put it in the top of your machine, and let's stitch it out. Here we go. Very nice quilting. I love the look of that. Okay, so now I'm going to put in a cream colored thread because I want that to match to the part of the bird that we're gonna be putting down next. So pick a cream colored thread and put that in the top of your machine. Load it up. Oops. There we go. A little bit of a upwards loop, not bad, but I wanna get that out anyway. There we go. All right, so let's foot down, let's stitch out the placement line for the bird. Okay, so now we are going to play with our first piece of flexi foam. 
This is Kimberbell's Flexi Foam. It's actually a piece I have left over from another project. And I'm going to position this over the bird. Okay. This is going to give the bird extra dimension. It's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to make sure that I am going to cover that line and I'm got I'm good on all sides. Okay. So now you can either tape it down or just do what I do. Hold it down with my stylus and let's tack down the flexi foam. All right, that works. So now I'm going to take the hoop off the machine gently and I'm going to take it over to a table and I'm going to trim away the excess flexi foam from around the stitches, but do not nick the stitches. Okay, so we've got that trimmed up. Let's put the hoop back on. Now we're going to stitch the placement line for this bird fabric. And we're going to use the cream thread that we have already on the top of the machine. All right, let's stitch down this placement line. Okay, so now we're going to put the uh, fabric for the bird down. And it's going to be a little bit more raised up, kind of like if you had two pieces of batting because of the cool flexi foam. So you want to make sure that you have ample room on all sides, including getting that tail piece. All right. So we're good on all sides. So I'm going to use my stylus on this one, or you can tape it down either way. And let's tack down the fabric. Oh, he's, he's a puffy bird. Love it. Like 3D look. All right. So now let's take the hoop off the machine. Let's go back to the table and let's trim away all this excess fabric from around the bird. Okay, we're back at the machine. We've got the bird fabric all trimmed up. And now we're going to stitch the beak. And Kimberbell suggests a dark gold. So I'm going to put this darker gold thread in the top of my machine. So you pick your color of choice for the beak. Put it up on top. And now we're going to start to work on the bird. Isn't this fun? Okay, so let's stitch the beak. It's only about a one minute stitch out. So here we go. Not even a one minute stitch out. That was like, like a 15 second stitch out. <laughs> okay, so now taking that gold thread out and now I'm going to put a cream thread because this is going to do a satin stitch around the bird so I want it to match the bird okay so put cream thread up in the top of your machine and we're going to stitch this out this is a two minute stitch out all right and get this thread all right here we go Looking good. Okay, so now the next step 
is going to be a placement line for this fabric here, which is going to be his wing. So I just chose something that I think would coordinate well with it. It's kind of like a beigey brown with a tint of copper in it. And I'm going to use that for the placement line and the tack down line, which is going to be the next step. All right, so put a color that will coordinate with the fabric you have for the bird's wing. And let's stitch out the placement line. Nice. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I just want to place, let's do right side, this side. Okay. I want to place this fabric over the top so we can stitch down that wing. Get my stylus to keep my fingers away from the needle and let's tack down the wing fabric. Okay, and I bet you you know what the next step is. What do you think it is? You're right, we're gonna go over to the table and we are gonna cut away this excess fabric. Okay, so we've got the wing trimmed up nicely. It's coming together. So now we're gonna stitch some wing details. And I put the cream thread back on the top of the machine for this step. So put cream thread up on top and let's stitch it out. It's a one minute stitch out. Here we go. I love it when you have little pieces of thread on the block and they bounce around like little jelly beans <laughs> when the stitching happens. Oh, okay, so now we're going to go and put this color thread back on the top of the machine. This is a color that I used to tack down the wing because now it's going to do some decorative detail in that same color. So put that thread you used for that step in the top of your machine. You've got this. You're doing really, really well. You're learning step by step. And I'm just here to guide you along now. Look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and stitch this out. This is a one minute stitch out. Here we go. Looking good. Okay, so now you have to pick a color of green thread. For your leaves okay I actually am gonna go to this bright green and it's not quite neon but it's kind of bright kind of a lime green color I think that would be cute and fun with the bird so I'm gonna choose that green you pick your green load your machine with that green thread and we'll stitch this out this is a nine minute in real life stitch out because it has several leaves to do. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go.
Okay, those are cool leaves. I like that. Are you ready for the flowers? Hi, um, I have chosen this kind of a, not quite a pastel blue, kind of like a Victorian blue for the two flowers. I think that'd be pretty. So choose your color that you'd like your flowers in. And don't drop the thread on the floor like I almost did. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and put that color thread on the top of your machine. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay? Let's do the flowers. Foot down and here we go. It's a one minute stitch out. pretty very very pretty all right you loving this so far I am all right now we're gonna do the branch so Kimberbell Bell says a gold I kind of went with a golden brown okay so choose the color of brown or gold that you would like for your branch put that thread in the top of your machine and we're going to stitch out the branch. It's a two minute in real life stitch out, so not too long. Okay, we ready? Foot down and let's go. Okay, so we've got the branch done. You only have three small little things to stitch out. We're almost done. So we're gonna do the feet. So I'm gonna put this tote back in that'll match with the bird. Give it some little feet. All right. Here we go. And this is a one minute stitch out. Let's go. Now the bird has something to hang onto the branch with. And now we're going to give him something to see with. So I'm putting black thread in the top of my machine so we can stitch out the bird's eye. All right. All right. Oh, I see a loop. Do you see a loop? Do you see a loop? There we go. All right. Let's go and stitch the eye. Here we go. Almost done. Okay, let's trim that thread. Okay, one stitch left to go. And, whoops. And these are just some white little dot accents. So I'm gonna put white thread up in the top of my machine and you do the same. And then we'll stitch this out. This is a one minute stitch out if I can ever get the black thread to come off the machine cleanly. There we go. So it's a one minute stitch out, okay? And then we're done with this block. You did it, you're so good. Doesn't it feel wonderful to see this block come to life? I just love it. Just love it. Okay, and get that little loop out. And let's stitch out the last stitch. White dot accents. Here we go.
super cute. We've got a few jump stitches that we'll trim up when we get over to the table, but you have done it. You've completed the block. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so let's take the hoop off the machine, go to the table, and let's finish up this block. Okay, yeah, this turned out really cute. Let's do the jump stitches first. So just go through, and you'll see here, in between those two dots, there's a jump stitch right here. And in between those. So you gotta clip all those and trim them so you have the look of berries and not connected <laughs> berries. Okay, so I'm gonna go through here and do all of these jump stitches. Once I get the jump stitches off, then I take a little piece of packing tape and I get all of the little fuzzies and trails of the jump stitches off of the block. There we go. Do one more pass. I see one more little thread. There we go. Okay. So now we are ready to trim this block up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take it out of the hoop. Okay, put that aside. And we've got this adorable block. And now I'm gonna measure, and it should be a four and a half inch check by four and a half inch check block. And that is what we're gonna trim it up to. So I'm going to look for this outer stitch line right here which is the one where we tack down this fabric and I'm gonna trim it up. I'm gonna go right to that stitch line and I'm going to trim it up. Then I'm gonna use my cutting mat and one, two, three, four and a half. And that is right on that stitch line. So then I'm gonna trim that up. Almost done, you got this. So I'm gonna to go to that outer stitch line, right to it, trim that up, turn it over here, four and a half, one, two, three, four and a half. Puts me just a hair over that stitch line, that's fine. And look what you just did. You just did the bird block. Isn't that adorable, look at that. I love it. Love the flowers too. That's so pretty. So congratulations. You just finished another block in Kimberbell's Quilting Through the Seasons project. So I hope you had as much fun today making this block as I did. This, this was a real cute one. So I hope you stay tuned here on Jolly Molly TV for more fun and more blocks in Kimberbell's Quilting Through the Seasons project. So until I see you next time, Happy stitching. Take care. Bye-bye.